this is a dungeon that I automatically generated. I didn't build a single block of this. It's all created from code. That is something that a lot of games do, and it's called procedural level generation. It's very cool. You can create levels without actually having to build them yourself. No one has to build them, and it's different every time, which is a really cool thing. <clears throat> and so in this case, I've basically made a whole bunch of rooms. They connect to each other. Uh, they have glowstone to light the way, and I could have each room spawn random mobs. I could have them uh, put some, you know, like a bookshelf or beds or tables or anything, you know, to try to make it seem more realistic. And you'll notice that I've actually been testing all sorts of things around here. So let me show you kind of what what you can generate without the roof to give you a sense of exactly what's going on here. So here's a dungeon that I generated here just without the roof. And uh, as you can see, each, each room is a different size. And uh, there are doorways between each room. Obviously, we've used randomness to do this. It'll be different every single time can look at this one down here. This one is a little different than the one above. This one down here is even more different. And so on. So they have similar things about them, but each one is randomly generated independently of the others. Now this is not an easy thing to do. This will actually be a very difficult tutorial. And I think you probably won't be able to follow it unless you have, um, unless you've had some computer science experience before. A lot of the concepts we're going to look at are very advanced. And I just, I just want to show off each one of these is something that I built when I was testing my code. Every single one of these is a test. Um, and I, so just looking around the world here, you can see just how long it took me to get everything just right. I was testing, testing, testing all over the place. And, uh, and this is something that a lot of tutorials, a lot of programming tutorials don't quite communicate very well. But they don't tell you just how hard it is sometimes to get your code to work exactly right. And they don't tell you just how much work and effort there is involved. And so I just... I don't want to. I don't. Want, I don't want to lie to you. This is uh, not easy stuff to do, and um, and I'll try to give you a sense. I'll try to make it easy to digest and comprehend in uh, the tutorial. But just bear in mind that even though the tutorial may make it sound easy, it wasn't actually easy when I was doing it. So join us on the next video and we'll get started with some of the basics of how to do this random dungeon generation.